Creating sections in Affinity Publisher allows you to logically separate your publication into groups of pages. For instance, you could separate a book into chapters or a report into months and quarters. So let's look at breaking this document down into sections. I'll go to my Pages panel in the left studio and I'll select the Sections Manager. By default, publisher documents are made up of a single section and we can see that the section starts on page 1 and ends on page 56, which is the last page of the document. With this example, I want to separate the document into six sections, starting with the introduction and moving through quarter one to quarter four and ending with the summary. So I'll start by updating the section name field of this first section and I'll call it introduction. I'll momentarily close down the section manager and I'll locate the beginning of my next section. Having found the next section, I'll right click over the page in the Pages panel and I'll select Start New Section. Moving back to the Section Manager, we can see that we have inserted a new section starting on page 6 and ending on the last page of the document. I'll again rename the section name, calling this section Q1 Spring. In our Sections Manager, we have options to make some adjustments to our page numbering. We can choose to restart the page numbering from the new section or for the page numbering to continue throughout the document. We can also change the page numbering style, choosing instead to use something like Roman numerals or letters. For the moment, we'll keep the number settings as they are, as I want the page numbers to continue sequentially. I can repeat the process by locating my next section on the Pages panel, right-clicking and selecting Start New Section. Alternatively, if I know when my next section starts, I could add a new section from the Section Manager by using the Add Section button here. So I'll choose to add a section and we'll change the Start on Page field to Page 18. We'll continue our page numbering and I'll rename the section Q2 Summer. And we can continue the process by adding and naming the remaining sections. So we'll start this new section on Page 30 and I'll rename the section name Q3 Autumn. Again, I'll add a new section. We'll start this section on page 42 and I'll call this section Q4 Winter. And lastly, I'll have the final section starting on page 52 and I'll call it Summary. One of the main reasons to create sections in a publication is so you can refer to those sections on master pages by using the automatic section name field. To show you this, I'm going to go and locate my master page A and we'll zoom in down here. I'll create a new text frame using the text frame tool and I'll then go to text, insert, fields, section name and we can see that the section name has now appeared in the text box. The field will automatically populate with its corresponding section name when applied to a page. For instance, I have Master A applied to page 10 here, and we can see that it now displays the Section 2 Q1 Spring section name. We can see this on multiple pages throughout the document. Here we have Q3 Autumn, and lastly, page 46, Q4 Winter. And that's how to create and manage sections in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.